Hello and welcome back for another episode of Forward Cameras Camera Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about the Petrie FT. Now many people don't really know too much about Petrie but it was another very popular Japanese brand during the 1960s and even before that and um, they're a really great camera. They're built very well um, and so today we're going to talk about some unique features and how to use this particular camera. So in order to get this camera going, turn the camera around and there's a lock on the side over here. You pop the lock out and the door opens to put your 35 millimeter film inside. This camera is a SLR. It's a, um, basically you're gonna see through the lens by looking through the viewfinder because there's a mirror inside that flips up and down. So we open up this rewind tab over here, pop our 35 millimeter canister in here, move the film around the back and then insert the film in here. And then you're going to pop this down and it holds the canister inside and you're gonna wind it. And the shutter's actually on the front, I'll show you in a little bit. And then once it's wound, we close it until it locks. Um, and now in order to take a photo, we're going to uh, wind it, shoot it, wind it, shoot it, wind it until our arrow matches with the first frame here. This is how many frames we have left on our, or how many pictures we have left on our 35 millimeter canister. And the interesting feature, two really interesting features, by the way, the shutter button usually on SLRs are on, is on the top. However, there are many unique cameras such as this one where it's on the side here, which makes it a little easier sometimes to shoot. So you, normally you would just press it up here, but having it over here makes it a little easier on your finger to press the shutter. And you can hear the shutter's pretty good. You wanna set your film speed over here by turning this dial. Usually I do 400 film speed, but it depends on what film you bought. Um, so this is ASA or ISO um, for those of us who use digital cameras. Then inside the lens, there's a light meter. So that requires that we put our battery in the front compartment here. So we would have already opened up this compartment and you turn it like this counterclockwise and we pop in our battery. So I'm gonna open it and show you sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get it open with your finger like this and inside it's a button cell battery i believe it's ps6 px625 battery that you can get online they're pretty cheap pop that back inside okay so we're going to turn it okay clockwise once that's in inside the camera there's a little needle that will go up and down and it will tell you, are you overexposed? Or are you underexposed? Um, and you want it just kind of in the middle for this camera. It's a manual camera. So first we would set our aperture. The aperture ring is here. So 16 is a very small aperture for bright sunlight and very focused, everything in focus. Then, you know, 1.8 is a big aperture. So you might have blurry background, but it will be uh, allowing a lot more light through the camera. So it depends on what you want for your focus, um, your depth of field. And then you change your shutter speed on the top, like traditional SLRs, right? So fast would be 1,000, one 1,000th of a second. You can hear it really fast. So if you want to do longer exposures and you want to say fit 1 15th of a second, you would change it to 1 15th of a second, then press down the shutter speed and you hear it's a lot slower. It's a very easy to use camera. Um, to shut down the aperture for depth of field, you would press this button here and it actually closes the aperture. So let me see if I could put it on 16. You can see that the aperture gets shut down. And then if you wanna place this on a tripod, there's a tripod mount. We put it on a tripod and let's just say you want to get in a photo with friends, we'll put the timer on, wind the camera to the next frame, then press this. 
and then you would get in the photo with your friends and you see it takes the photo automatically. Um, and then to rewind, so let's just say you're on your last picture. Oh no, what do I do? So this would say 24 for some and then 36 for other films. We want to rewind. We press the rewind button, hold it down. And then, you know, we would just open this metal piece and then rewind it clockwise all the way until the film clicks into the cartridge. And then once it's done, we would unlock and then take our film out. If we want to replace our lens with a different lens, the other unique feature is how the lens is mounted. So most, many times the lens itself just kind of mounts on and you screw the lens and it clicks, but this one, the attachment's directly on the camera body. So we would move this bigger ring and then the lens pops off and you can see the mirror inside. So this is how we use this um, very nicely built 60s SLR, um, 60s, 70s. They were a very popular Japanese brand and they're made pretty well. Um, many people don't know too much about this, um, but they are a unique piece of history and I highly recommend getting one. And they're often found in our shop, which reminds me, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out our Instagram at Forward Cameras, our Twitter feed at Forward Cameras, our Facebook Forward Cameras, and our Etsy shop, Forward Cameras for Vintage Cameras. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. Take care.